What's good YouTube? This is Kevin Cruz back with another NBA 2K22 tutorial and in this video I'm going to share you some of the best tips I can give in order to take your dribble game to the next level. So as you can see in these clips right here I'm using Dark Matter Richard Jefferson who's using the Steve Francis dribble package which I provided a tutorial on in the previous video so go check out that video there. But here we're going to discuss how to improve your execution and to make these moves flow out of each other. Basically, using muscle memory, your knowledge of the dribble system, and how to get creative. That part's all up to you, but all I'm here to teach you is to how to improve your execution in the, in the dribble game and hopefully take that dribble game to the next level. But before we get started, we're on the road to 2,000 subs, so sub if you haven't already, I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. So let's start with our first dribble drill, which is going to be what I call the combo progression, and you'll want to start with a 1-2 dribble combo as I do here, a standard between the legs or tween size up, launch directly into a uh, crossover launch. So tap the right stick left or right, and then hold the left stick up left or up right. And after each set where you dribble from the half court to the baseline, you want to add another move, whether it be a right stick move or a left stick move here. After my tween crossover launch, I add another right stick crossover and I do that from the half court to the baseline. And I just keep doing this. First of all, you have to do this with both your right hand and your left hand so that regardless of which, which direction you're going, you're strong in terms of your execution. So keep repeating and keep building that muscle memory. So as you can see here, we're already up to our fifth layer where we end with a crossover or a momentum crossover launch after our different size up combinations. So keep building that muscle memory. Drill number two is pretty difficult and can be frustrating because it's it, because of the way the inputs are mapped. One of the most difficult moves to execute on the fly or in combination is the in and out dribble because it will either get you a hesitation or a crossover. So after here, this tween launch crossover, I add a in and out dribble, which is tapping the right stick up left or up right towards your ball hand. And you'll see that executing this move can be very difficult. So again, it's all about building that precision with the right stick. You know which direction you're pushing towards and you can execute th these moves on the fly. So again, you want to flip the drill to the other hand so that you're strong in both hands in terms of execution and you build that muscle memory. And in this case, train your precision in using the right stick. So for example, the, doing this drill right here on repetition and flipping that to my left hand, I, I figured out that you know, my left hand execution isn't as strong as my right hand execution. The third drill is what I call advanced combo progression, which is a step up from your basic combo progression, which we did in drill one. But in this case, I'm adding a, a wrinkle to my combo progression, and this is by doing another momentum crossover after my first tween to crossover launch. In this case, I call this an advanced combo progression because now we're introducing right stick inputs, combination with timing from your right stick and left stick inputs in order to implement your momentum crossovers. And if you try to spam momentum crossovers before, you know that there's a short timing and execution window in order to combo them together. And now I just keep on adding another layer to my combos. I add a behind the back escape launch, which again, very difficult because you have to hold R2 and time the right inputs, be precise with your right stick inputs and then your left stick launch. So what these drills do is help you improve your muscle memory, your timing, your execution, the precision in which you command inputs because you want to be able to execute these moves on command as you react to your defender. And the last drill is what I like to call bookends, which is basically ending the combo with the same move that you used at the beginning of your combo, but this time flipping it from, your, from one hand to another. So this drill right here, for example, you see a pullback dribble comboed into a tween launch and then ending with another pullback dribble, which involves a lot of timing ex and perfect execution in order to perfect this move moving from one hand to the other. Again, executing the pullback dribble in combination with a tween launch needs preci precision and perfect timing because that tween launch only, only has a small cancel window in order to execute a pullback dribble. You can also start by combining your different hop hesitation moves, which I've showed in my very first NBA 2K22 tutorial. This isn't a move that I will execute in game, but this is more about building the muscle memory from going from one hand to the other so that you can execute these moves on the fly. So here is just another combo progression of our bookends drill, starting with a pullback dribble, and then in the middle we include our hop hesitations and ending with another pullback dribble. So as you can see here, we complicated things a little further by adding that tween launch after that pullback 
to the hop hesitation, to the twin launch, and then ending with a pullback dribble. So these aren't moves that you will execute in game, but what this will do, and I swear this is how it works for me, is it will develop that muscle memory for you to be able to execute these on the fly. So the goal here at first is to not create moves that you know you will use in game necessarily. These are just moves that are very difficult to execute in order to train your mind and your fingers to build that muscle memory to establish what the timing the timing that's needed, the execution that is needed and in order for you to perfect how to execute these moves on the fly. So as you can see here more drills including spin moves and spin cancels. So the the combinations are endless with how you want to structure these drills. So here in these clips right here, you can see that I use the moves I executed in the drills and try to use them in game. And as you can see here, it's all about that muscle memory reacting to how your defender is playing you. And, you know, at times you want to be able to dictate where you want to go and how your defender plays you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Should I do a more detailed breakdown on what the moves are and provide a more detailed tutorial? Should I stream that? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.